What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're starting off the day by going to a local Cars and Coffee. This is gonna be the first one. And uh, yeah, so I'm not sure what to expect, but we'll stop by anyways, cause this is like literally five minutes down the road from where I live. And then we're gonna be heading out to run an errand, which is gonna be a good one. That's something I've been actually waiting on for a while. And, uh, but I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is until we get there. And eventually you guys will end up seeing as the video goes on. But yeah guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I don't have a lot of battery left. I made a stupid mistake and didn't charge it. But, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys that I'm getting a new hood. So, once I get this one off, um, I'll show you guys the uh, end results, okay? Alright guys, so it's time to show you guys what I've been talking about and what I've been waiting on. Some of you guys might already know what I was referring to and only a couple I actually knew what I was doing but i ended up getting the gts style hood this is something that i've been wanting for the longest and i don't know if everybody's gonna like it or not because obviously you guys already know there's always gonna have there's always that one person who has something to say and no i'm not trying to make it into an m3 but it's just something that i've always wanted for the longest and i was supposed to have one maybe like five six months ago but the thing the yeah, deal just didn't work out so i ended up getting this hood for a better price and things just happened to work out for themselves i had to wait longer yes but honestly i'm a lot happier with this one it's a, it's a steel hood the other one was supposed to be carbon fiber and honestly i didn't really want it i didn't really care about the weight savings and i just prefer steel just because i didn't i didn't want to worry about having to um, drill hood pins and maybe having the carbon fiber damage over time underneath the paint over time if you let the car sit outside for too long and within the years you will actually start noticing that the paint starts kind of sinking into the carbon fiber i'm not exactly sure how it happens but i've seen it happen before um previous couple friends actually mentioned it to me about it and it's possible so i went with steel and if you guys are interested if anybody's interested in the same hood I'll link the uh, location where I got it, which was actually off eBay. They have their own eBay store, so I have their link down below. And I'll actually have the link for the hood itself. Um, I think they had one available. And I, I mean, for the price that you can get it and the way that it fits, you really can't go wrong. So just to kind of give you guys a uh, walk around on the hood. And another thing is with white, it actually kind of, it's kind of hiding some of the details. It kind of depends on the daylight or the type of light that's that the car is in but it's hiding a lot of the details but it's okay so to talk about the fitment i honestly i can't remember how the stock hood was but the line we were able to get it to flow evenly we had to adjust the bumper we had to push it forward compared to the stock hood <clears throat> and also the guy at the shop he ended up having to raise up i'll show you guys what I guess you guys can have it, get an idea. Alright, so what he did, he had to adjust these a little bit because I think it was a little a little too close whenever the, the hood was opening. It was coming too close to the fender, so in order to prevent that, he ended up adjusting this. and. I'm not exactly sure what he said it was, but I think it's, it adjusted the height of the hood back here. So he adjusted that, and he adjusted this side as well. 
And other than that, just to kind of give you guys how it looks underneath. It has this piece as well, which obviously, if I ever need to, I'll end up removing it in case, you know, I feel like releasing some heat. And then the neat part about it is whenever I have the hood shut, it kind of, you're able to see this right here. So if I had this in carbon fiber, that would have, you know, that'd be a lot nicer. But yeah, we don't, so. So, honestly, I think fitment wise, everything was, it fits almost near perfect. Right here, in order to get this part on, he had to drill a little bit off the hood to kind of, well, kind of shave it off. That way, so this would actually go in all the way straight evenly because there was a piece of the sheet metal that was sticking out a little bit too far and it was preventing the uh, the hinge to actually go in properly. But everything went in good. Um, one clip wasn't able to go in for some reason, but I mean, they're on there. It has the holes for your uh, uh, hood washer, windshield wipers, windshield washers, that's what it is. And yeah guys, what do you guys think? Just a quick walk around of it. I'll probably put some cinematics on here. Honestly, I think this is just kind of completing the look of the car. You guys know I am going to be getting a new lip. I have new side skirt extensions for um, that are in carbon fiber. And the last thing would be is a bigger spoiler and hopefully a different diffuser, carbon fiber. But I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but we just kind of have to wait on that. So yeah, let me go ahead and uh, shoot some cinematics and we'll go from there. So, what do you guys think? I think it completes the look of the car. It's actually, I mean, it has the look that I'm going for. I wanted something aggressive, but clean at the same time. And honestly, I can't really complain about the fit, man. It did take some playing around with the hinges and the line, lining it up. But overall, I mean, if, if you kind of know what you're doing, you can get it to work. But otherwise, I would just kind of get somebody that works at a shop that has been dealing with this. It wasn't too bad but like i mentioned it just kind of took some time to play around with it but i had a like i mentioned i pulled this we pulled it a little bit forward to kind of even out the gap because it was a little bit too close and other than that the gap on both sides is pretty much the same and yeah i mean you don't have to worry about the hood flying off in case you do get carbon fiber and honestly it just looks so much cleaner when it's painted so what's the point of getting carbon fiber if you're going to paint over it uh, but yeah guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think if you haven't already subscribe Leave a comment and uh, on what future videos you guys want me to do. I do have the extensions coming up for the next video Hopefully, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one